What's up guys, Shay Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today we're taking a look at another special release for the 2022 MVP Open, the Fission Hex. Let's get to it. Before we get to the video, please click that like button if you're enjoying the content. If you find yourself coming back often, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell. It really helps me out and I try to post videos at least once a week. As always, thank you all for the support. So fans of MVP will know we got the Hex initially as a fan vote. We were hoping it was an understable mid-range and we were a bit surprised to see the flight numbers. Uh, they were a speed of 5, glide of 5, turn of negative 1, and a fade of 1. So a pretty stable disc. Uh, we were hoping for understable, but when we got our hands on it, we were very excited. Uh, it's a great straight shooter uh, if you have a slower arm speed. If you have a faster arm speed, it's kind of a nice, like, subtle Anheuser. It just keeps holding over really nicely. And if you're a Heiser flip player, I mean, it's a dream to straight shoot it. So uh, it was a great addition, especially for people who didn't like the reactor. I gave them another uh, disc in that slot, uh, and hopefully it met their needs. If not, you got the Echo as well, hopefully coming in stock next year. Uh, so MVP has a great little trifecta in the uh, stable mid-range area uh, to hopefully meet every player's need. Uh, but the Hex, again, very popular. I was very impressed with the distance on this disc. So to see it get the fission treatment, very exciting. Um, so uh, I did go out to the field, get some throws on it. You will see here I am moving around a lot. And I actually have to go to another park uh, just because it's the fall. And in the Philly area, uh, fall soccer just takes over. So uh, field space is at a premium. So I get kicked off a bunch of fields. I'm moving around a lot, you'll see. I do have a wind indicator in the top left corner just so you know what kind of wind I'm working with. Uh, so you can see how that influences the disc. But... Uh, let's get to the throws and see how the hex performs. Okay. So those are my throws with the Fission Hex. Really impressed with this disc, guys. It's a hex with even more glide. I didn't think it was possible. Um, again, I'm hurt still, and I was able to get this thing out to 330 without much issue. I had a few, I think, got out into the 360 range, especially in that tailwind when I was throwing. This disc just did not want to get to the ground. So uh, if you're a slower arm speed, I can't recommend this disc more. It's uh, You get so much control without much you know, sacrifice and distance. So uh, it should be a disc you should be very confident in throwing. Uh, if you have a Heiser flip game, it's going to be a you know, flip to flat and go. Uh, James Conrad bags a hex, so uh, you know a, a powerful arm. Uh, this disc can handle it, so it'll probably be for your higher arm speeds, like you saw in some of my shots, where it just kind of pushes to the right uh, on that Anheuser, but still pushes forward, so it's not just a turn and burn. So good distance forward uh, while drifting right. Uh, the Heiser game on this thing was really nice. Again, Heiser flips and also just that nice pan. You saw big, that big sweeping uh, Heiser I did. Uh, it just pans and glides and gets a lot of good lateral movement. So you can shape some lines with this disc. Uh, forehand, it's right on the cusp for me in terms of, you know, torque resistance. I can probably basically throw this on a lot of hyzer and flip it to flat if I need to. So it's not something I'm going to instinctively reach for. It's more of a specialty shot. Uh, but backhand, it's got great utility. So uh, for me, it's not going to be making my bag just yet. I'm very comfortable with my fission reactors. And I have one that's beat in that flies comparable to this. 
My game plan is this is going to my field work bag and I'm going to beat the heck out of it and possibly kick out the neutron uplink. Uh, this just feels very comfortable. I love vision. Feels really good in the hand. So if I can beat this thing to be even uh, flippier, it might take that uh, uplink spot out of my bag. I'll keep you posted on that. I'm going to be hoping for a stock release of this disc. Uh, so I have backups. Uh, so I've got to wait for that before I make that, you know, the plunge and kick the uplinks out. Uh, but if you haven't gotten your hands on a Fission Hex yet and you want to try, I recommend you do. Check out uh, basketbashersdiscoff.com. I know we have a bunch on the site as I am recording this, so I'll have that linked in the description below for you to grab yours. Uh, and yeah, uh, before I go, I want to remind you guys as well, I have a Beat the Basket uh, ba uh, Beat the Basket Bashers Challenge live right now. It's going until Friday evening, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time, so I'm doing the cutoff. It's a putting challenge. You just got to uh, basically putt from five foot increments and get further than me or as far as me. Uh, to be eligible for a giveaway to win a Prism Plasma Envy and a $20 off coupon code to the Basket Bashers website, which you could use to buy a Fission X, just saying. So uh, be sure to get an entry in. I'll have that linked up here for you. Uh, but yeah, that's been my review of the Fission Hex. Uh, thanks to MVP for this really cool disc. Again, another good com uh, way to commemorate the 2022 MVP Open. Uh, so guys, if you have any questions about the Fission Hex or anything else in general, uh, reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors for all your disc golf needs. Check out Phoenix Discs and Basket Bashers Disc Golf.